In this episode, I'm gonna break down how you set up retargeting campaigns by creating custom audiences in Facebook's Ads Manager. Most likely, you already know how to set up Facebook ads and how to target cold audiences. Cold audiences are people that have not heard of you, your brand, or most importantly, your music. You set that up by targeting people by their interests, their age, male or female, etc. Now to set up retargeting campaigns, you're gonna have to create a Facebook pixel and hook it up to a landing page so you could actually track the actions that users are taking once you send that traffic. This is all a lot easier and you won't have to design your own landing page because of platforms such as Toned In and Hyped Link. So if you're not familiar with those platforms, I suggest you take a look and anytime you promote traffic, you send them to a landing page that from there they could click on a link. These are called smart links on toned in, they're called fan links. And then you could send them to wherever you're streaming your music, whether that be Spotify or any other platform. You do not want to send traffic directly to Spotify or these other streaming platforms because you won't be able to track their actions and then you wouldn't be able to set up retargeting campaigns, which I'm going to break down for you. Now, all of this is is actually pretty easy to set up but before I get started if you guys are new here or if you just haven't yet please hit that subscribe button I haven't uploaded any content recently but I just moved into a new office so I'm gonna be uploading new videos weekly updating you on the latest tips and tricks on how you can market your music online in today's digital landscape We're going to start all of this from Facebook ads manager, which obviously, hopefully you do know anytime you're setting up ads, doesn't matter for Facebook or Instagram, you want to set them up in Facebook's ads manager. I'm not going to go into all of the reasons why, but if you're new here and you don't have much experience with Facebook and Instagram ads, I do have a tutorial, which I will leave the link for you guys to check out that breaks down all the steps needed to run Facebook ads. However, in that tutorial, I recommend using a traffic campaign and that is because at the time, it wasn't so easy to build a landing page to have these links where you could send traffic to Spotify and hook up your Facebook pixel to. So that would have been the easiest option. Now with these platforms such as Toned In and Hyped It, this makes it so easy for you guys and Toned In actually is free to set up these fan links. So now the thing to do is conversions because traffic ads, there are rumors that they use bots to click, so you have to pay for that. I don't know about all that. What I do know is that you can't track what the person's doing, all you see is those clicks. So you don't know whether they landed on your page, started streaming your music, but you are paying for it. Now we're gonna get started here. The first thing you wanna do is go up to business tools and click audiences. Now, simply you're gonna click this blue button that says create audience. And here we got a few options, custom audience, which is what we're gonna be setting up today. Lookalike audience, I'll break that down next. And then special ad audience, I honestly do not use this, so I'm not gonna go into that. So let's click custom audience. And as you can see, there's a bunch of options here. But for today, what we're gonna discuss is website. I'll discuss a little bit about Instagram account and then video. But for now, just click website and Facebook says, create an audience based on website visitors from your Facebook pixel. As you are sending traffic to your toned in or your landing page, Facebook is tracking those users, but it also allows you to later set up custom audiences like we're doing and retarget those people with ads. So if you didn't have this set up, you would just be advertising the cold audiences, those people that haven't heard of you. And then anytime you release a new track, what is gonna happen to those people that actually streamed your music from the track before that you are promoting? How do you target them? You do it through setting up custom audiences. Okay, you guys, so next, we're gonna press next. 
Now here it says source and you are going to choose your pixel. I always keep any here where it says include people who meet any of the following criteria. Now here you guys under events, we got a few options. One of them is all website visitors, which we're gonna use today. The next one is people who have visited a specific web page, which you're not gonna have to worry about when you're using a platform like toned in, that's just a single page. And then the last one is visitors by time spent, which means how long the person actually stayed on the landing page. And sometimes that can be useful, but for now we're gonna stick to all website visitors. Lastly, you're gonna put audience name. I always suggest that you put some kind of name. That way, once you're creating a bunch of audiences down the line, you could easily spot which one's which. I'm just gonna put Jay's audience and we're gonna create audience. Now, before I show you how to set up the ad, which is even more simple, I'm gonna break down a little bit about lookalike audiences. You can set up a lookalike audience once you set up a custom audience, and what Facebook's gonna do is they're gonna create an audience for you of people that have similar traits of those people that are in your custom audience. It's really that simple. Now, when you're using a lookalike audience, you're still advertising to cold audiences, people that haven't heard of you before, most likely, but there's more of a chance that they're gonna actually stream your music, hopefully because they have similar traits as the people that are actually clicking your links and landing on your page and converting like you want to. So from here, you guys, we're gonna go done, and you could create an ad right here, but I usually just click done, and then I go to ads manager, and then I'm gonna set up the ad for you guys. now. Hopefully you guys already know how to set up ads, but if not, like I said, I'm gonna include a link to a video where I break down all the steps you need as a beginner to set up ads on Ads Manager. But you're simply gonna create ad, and I'm gonna rush through this a little bit, but you pick conversions. Now I'm not gonna break down all this, I'm just gonna get to the part that's going to be different when you're using this custom audience, and it's super simple. You're just gonna scroll down here. The only thing different that you're gonna do here from when you actually set up ads where you're targeting cold audiences is you're gonna come down to custom audience and you're gonna select your audience that you just created, which you could select your lookalike audience or you could select a custom audience, which we just created created Jay's audience and you select that and then you set up your ad the same exact way when you were setting up ads targeting cold audiences. There's no difference. It's actually really that easy. So when you're done, you're going to press publish. However, I don't want to publish this. So I'm just going to exit out. Now, the theory behind retargeting is because these people are already warmed up to you or they have heard your music, they know about you, we consider them a warmed up audience, which hopefully means that they are more likely going to convert, which means they're more likely going to click your ad and stream your new track that you're promoting. So what I suggest you do is always target cold audiences because you're always trying to build your brand, your fan base, and obviously gain exposure in new areas to new people. But also create these custom audiences so you can advertise to those people who actually heard of you, heard your music, and know of your brand. Now, I'm just gonna break down one last thing, you guys. We'll go back here into audiences. You could also set up custom audiences of people who have interacted with your Instagram page. So anyone who's ever engaged with your professional account. Now, that's the thing, you gotta have a professional IG account and you can create a custom audience of anybody who's ever engaged with your account, anybody who's ever engaged with a post on your account. And there's some other options here that I will let you look at yourself if you're interested, if your platform that you're showcasing your brand on is Instagram. And you could do the same for a Facebook profile. And another custom audience you can create is one for video views. So let's say you're advertising that music video and you wanna create a custom audience of anybody who's watched 50% or more. Because these days, advertising on Facebook, it's becoming harder and harder to gain people's attention because you're basically interrupting them from when they're scrolling through their feed. So if somebody actually watches 50% or more of your music video, that shows that they're definitely interested. And then you could target them with ads to send them to your toned in or to your merchandise page and hopefully get them to convert. And you guys, that's how easy it is to set up retargeting campaigns. And I suggest that you add this into your marketing mix and see how it works for you.
Now I'm gonna wrap it up here. If you guys have found value from this video, please like, and if you have any questions for me, I love engaging with my viewers. Ask me a question in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Until next time, you guys, keep making music, keep staying true to your passion, and stay healthy. Peace.